Hi guys, welcome to the video. This is the other side. This is the, the final mission for the bad juju, the final adventure. So, no real big kind of set up here. I went in with a rocket launcher, Ostringer and the Jotun. I did have rocket launcher reserves on, but as you can see, I mean, you'll see here, uh, this is, was my second run. I come straight back in. I think I died once or twice in the first run. Uh... I wanted to make a better, better run of it for you guys. I didn't realize that there was a triumph for Flawless in it solo. So, luckily, once I knew knew the way that it all worked and what to expect from each area, it was it was really easy. So, I'm using the Ostringer, Yotun, and the Zenobia D. I have Rocket Launcher Reserves on my helmet and my cloak, I think. Heavy Ammo Finder on my arms, and I'm using the Raiden Flux, which I am going to switch. Although, you don't have to switch, but I'm going to switch to the Storm Piece. Yeah, I don't think you really have to switch. So, in this first area, you've got two kind of ads that are worth looking out for. One's a Shrieker, which you will see appear very soon, as soon as we get to centre bit, up top. So, you can go back out the door, relative safety, and... That will that'll put the Shrieker back into its dormant state. And as you've seen there, there's that big knight. We're going to put a rocket on him. And then I think one or two Yotans and he's done. But you've got you've got these uh, Scions, these Taken Scions. They can be a bit of a nightmare. Now, as you can see, I'm, I'm not using any, any setup that's too kind of, you know... I've seen people come in here with some crazy setups. There's no need for it. You just point and shoot. You know, the, the, this is not a difficult mission at all. But I'm saying that. If anybody finds this, this difficult, I apologize. I'm not, I'm not saying you shouldn't find it difficult. What I'm saying is there's no need to really kind of, you know, do I need master work weapons? Do I need to? No, you're fine. So we've took down, we took down the, the knight. One rocket on the, the shrieker. Done. Now, you will get a few Shriekers during this. Some of them are hidden. Some of them are more precautionary Shriekers to stop you going to a place. Stop you going to a certain place. Now, this is where I put the Stompies on. And I don't put the Arc Stride, I don't put the Chest Plate on, I don't think, until close to the end. Now, again, if you're worried about this or you want the Triumph for whatever, I think Transcendent Blessings could work in here. But as you'll see, they're not really needed. I'm actually quite... I wouldn't say disappointed. I'm surprised that this final mission is as easy as it is. But it's it's a very nice looking mission. There's no two ways about it. I'm uh, very happy with the mission. I'm just... Uh, I'd like it to be a little bit more challenging. But hey-ho. The game isn't built... The game shouldn't be built for the minority. It should be built for the majority. Am I right? Of course I'm right. <laughs> I don't know if I'm right. Uh, the reason I... Because I, I, this happened to me the first time as well. That that Cabal Boy is going to keep doing that. So I'm just going to pop my super, dodge this, take him out with the super. It's all good. By the t next time you need the super, you'll have it back. So that's kind of this little bit. Uh, it's not even... I heard somebody saying, oh, there's a bit of a jumping puzzle. And after I'd done this, I was like... That's not a jumping puzzle. Where's the jumping puzzle? So, again, here, the thing you need to watch out for, and you've got cover left and right, you've got snipers, but it's that wizard. So, that is where the problem is. The wizard will just keep, those shadow thrall are just going to keep coming. And they're, you know, they're pushing you out of cover, and that's why you're getting hit. So get a Yotun on as quickly as possible. If you're not using the Yotun, whatever weapon that you're using to tr for long-range ads, I would suggest the Yotun because it's not only good against, you know, there's a lot of, there's, a, there's not a lot, but there's some solar shields, but it's good against any shields. You've got two snipers on the left, a sniper back right, and the, the Taken Cabal. And that's that. As you can see, those bombs that sit on their own, you can shoot them so that you don't have to, you know, worry about taking damage for those when you jump up to wherever you need to go. So we're just making sure we've got, all, you know, a decent decent amount of ammo, and then we're going to push to the end. 
Now, here's the same kind of idea. You've got some ads. You've got a bit of cover that will keep you safe. You just have to work the cover. So, as you can see, we've got that ad, those ads there. That was a, a sniper and a cabal. We're going to use this platform because you're going to have ads left and in front. So, we'll just take that sniper out. And you've seen the shrieker. Take the shrieker first. That's your first port of call. And then you can manipulate the cover. So we're going to take down those ads. I'm not wasting time trying to, you know, get the perfect shot. Now he's in a, this is the last thing that's left is a taking Minotaur. And he's, he's in a pretty good spot now. If you, if you were like, if you're like, I don't have the Yolton, you can go shotgun, you can go whatever you want, fusion rifle. With any other weapon I would push. I probably could have pushed with the Yolton, but for the purposes of making this this run i didn't want it to be fly by the seat of your pants i didn't want to come in with you know sweat weapons i just wanted to show you guys how to do, get it done flawlessly you, there's no need to have tether there's no need to have uh defender bubble sentinel shield warlock there's just it's just not difficult enough for those things everything can be done from cover Everything can be done from range, and you can manipulate the ads to be where you need them to be, which you'll see at the end. So that's that section done. Again, it's just being careful. That's all it is. Now, when you get to this part, this 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 is the first kind of uh, this part that's going to be coming up after this is the first real kind of you know. I would say it's not really a mechanic. It's just. Ads do things based on what you do, you know. So you've got you can jump up here, jump up to the side, keep yourself safe. There's a taken cap, a taken captain, solar shielded, which I stupidly try and put a rocket on, but as we know, the taken <laughs> they don't like standing. Who does like standing waiting for a rocket to hit them in the face? But they don't dodge the Yotun. That's I think it must be a mechanic that works with heavy because very rarely do these the taken dodge the Yotun. Is it because it's an energy weapon? It must be. So when you get to this next area, this is a, these are all kind of built around areas in the in the Leviathan. They're like ascendant Leviathan areas. So if they were, this would be the ascendant version of the dogs. Now you've got blights. I think there's like four or five blights. Uh, each one released those things, or shadow beasts. When you take down the blight, the shadow beasts won't come from this blight, and you move on to the next one. Eventually, you'll get your first kind of wave of ads. Now, I'm going to jump up here just to show you. See that red dot up on the minimap? That's a shrieker. That's to stop you staying up there. So you cannot jump up on trees, but what I've noticed is trees are a no-no. But cups are good. You can jump on a cup. There are kind of those cups where the blue flames come from. There's those dotted around. If you do get overrun, because these shadow beasts, if you stay out of the blight for long enough, they go away. You know? But they'll keep coming. As soon as you push a blight, you'll get another another wave of them coming. So we're going to take out, I think we take out three blights, and then we get the first other wave of ads. So you'll see here, these are, this is the cup I'm talking about. You can jump up on here for a bit of cover from the dogs. Not ideal when the, it's, it's okay for the next wave of ads, but the, you're going to get an ogre, a big ogre. Not very good for him. And But what it is, is you will get pushed by by the ads, by the dogs. And if, if enough dogs are around you, it can cause a problem. So this is the first other kind of, uh, set, set of ads you're going to get, which is invisible minotaurs. All right. So one, once, I think, I can't remember if there's three or four of them. I think there's four. So there's one. So that's three we've took down. Two of the super, one one combination of Yolton and uh, Orstringer. And as you could see, we were getting hit by the fourth one. He's following us. Why would you do it? Not going to mess about. Two Yotans, and it's a done deal. So that was after, what, three three uh, blights? 
back up on the cup just to let them go away and then we'll go to the next blight now I'm taking it down with the Yotun because the Yotun makes very light work of the blights if you see the dogs coming there's just you know no problem to take down whatsoever but if you get multiple packs of them coming after you they can be a problem so we're looking for another blight just keep looking about for the blights. When you see your next blight, this is when you'll get your ogre. And with the ogre, you're going to get wizards. Now, I, I, if you follow what I do in the video, I focus the ogre. And what I do is the same as any kind of ad clearing it. There's the ogre there. So what, he, what we're going to do is move back and find cover. Cover we can fire left and right from. So there's tons of these kind of places. So we're just going to... We've got our rocket. It's got a boss spec on it. It will track. Perfect for him because he can't dodge. Uh, and we'll just put... We'll put another one on him. And then we'll finish him with a couple of Yotun. So once you get him down to about there then you're good. Now what you've got now, nice that you dropped those, is now you've got your wizards. So we took one out straight away there. As you can see in the background, there's more. There's three wizards. So there's, there's four invisible minotaurs, one ogre, and three wizards in this area. But they all come at relatively different times. You won't get pushed or chased by them all at the same time, which is good. You can take the ogres out rel relatively, you can take the minotaurs out relatively easy. You know, keep your super for them. As you can, I, as I haven't said, which you guys might have noticed, I never put the chest plate back on, which is why my super didn't last as long as I thought it should have. Uh, if you've got, if you've got the chest plate on, your super would, uh, my super would have lasted long enough to be able to take probably all the minotaurs. Then, just follow what I've done in the video, Take out the next couple of blights, then you've got an ogre, and then you've got three wizards. The wizards won't push you the same same way the ogre will go running around the map looking for you. Well, walking. Trundling, actually. Pitiful how how, <laughs> how slow he chases us around the map. Now, like all good strike areas, mini raids, whatever, the last two sections, the last two encounters are going to happen in the same section. So, basically... You've, you've got this floating thing, as you can see in your objective. You've got this floating thing up top. You see it up to the right. And then when you kill something, it will release that kind of uh, essence. You've got to feed that thing essence. And that will bring out the final kind of wave. So just at your leisure, nothing too extravagant here. Just make sure you kill everything in your path. There's Cabal, there's Taken. Just kill everything. And, as you can, and you've got, obviously, it wouldn't, be, it wouldn't be a good area if there wasn't a boss. So what we'll do is we're just trying to clear most things up to there. Now, I would suggest it's always a good thing with these, these kind of bosses, these kind of mini bosses. If he is not focused on you, you can use that to your advantage. If he is not focused on you, you can use that. And that's exactly what to do. Now, a couple of throw here, nothing, again, nothing to, you know, enough, you just punch them. Now, the Jotun I'm not using, I use it more in these this section here. I use it more, uh, as an area area effect because it burns the ground so i'm not using it for the solo thing you know we are now because the now that we've killed just about everything else the boss is like oh new blood and you can see how much damage the yotan actually does to him no problem at all he's gone but I'll, i use it as an area of effect so i, I kind of hit fire onto the floor so that it takes out a massive wave of ads as opposed, you know, a big, 
compared to that solo one shot. So again, we just we want to clear these ads before we get the last section, the last kind of big enemy. And I'll tell you, it's actually, it was actually like what the when I seen it because the, I mean the boss isn't extravagant, but the amount of thrall that come after you is, it's I've never seen that amount of thrall coming after me. So there's a wizard there again. Just use. Don't go, don't, you know, you don't have to push anything. You don't have to go crazy here. You can do this at your leisure. Just, you know, as you can see, everything you kill, like I've said, it will just release an essence. So we're just slowly but surely working the way through the enemies until we're just left with a couple of taken. Nothing too extravagant. Okay? So, you've... You've fed the essence. Now you're getting the final wave, and with this, with this section, you're gonna get the boss. So what what we've done here is we've come to this side. You'll see what I mean in a minute. There is just like, oh man, there's loads of these things. So I start at one section, draw them all over, and then run to the next section, and they'll all come. And there are lots of them. Now a tether here would be brilliant. But I don't think you need it. As you can see, that area of effect that the Yotan gives you. Look how many. It's just in one go. So we're just jumping past a quick reload, jump over them, turn. And then just keep firing at the ground. Now what happens here is I jump away, they all jump down, and I fire into the ground, a couple into the ground. And that is the whole wave gone. So that's the first wave. Now, that, that this is going to be the staple for this, this strategy. It's drawing them to a side, getting past them, getting some shots off, and then going to the next side. Just because it's it's it can be very hard to fight this boss. It'll be very hard to fight this boss with all these thrall running about. So a little grenade, get some reload on. We're just drawing them further, as far over as we can. And then... You know, now you can see what once we take this guy out, you're gonna. I think you're gonna get your first taste of the boss. So we're just trying to make them go where we need them to go. You know, there's the boss. This is the guy you've got to kill. So we'll put one rocket on him. Again, you've got to be careful because if you're using grenade launcher or you're using rocket, it doesn't matter. Those things can kill you as well. So. You have to be very careful when it comes to these ads because they will just keep pushing you. That's why you want to thin the herd a little bit. So you're drawing them into you. And then we're going to make it over to the other side. And it's just going from side to side, getting a bit of distance between you and the ads. And then what, what, once you can... Once there's no ads actually pushing too strongly at you, then you then you you know you put it on the boss a little bit. But that's all I've done was there's no need for any special, no need for supers or any of that nonsense. All you've got to do is get the ads to get to you and just manipulate the ads. It's always with, with when you've got ads of this kind of magnitude, this amount then this becomes an ad control, you know, this becomes ad, a lesson in ad control. Manipulate the ad. Now, you'll see the boss is going to come here, so we're going to put a Yotun on him, and another one which actually hits his, his, uh, his, uh, um, oh, what the, Axiom Dart. Jesus. It's been a while since I've actually had to deal with an Axiom Dart of any kind of, Magnet in, in, in importance. <laughs> so we've got seven rockets. We know the boss is... he. We're trying to keep the boss from going too far left and right. Okay? That is what it's about. Don't fire track and rocket at those axioms. So we'll, there we go. We've saved for dodge. Now what I could have done, which I did, what I could have done is I could have attacked him with my super straight away, but I didn't. I could have fired a rocket rocket and then... But, I mean, I made up for it, so. Rocket, rocket, super. And as you can see, no need for anything special. Just keep moving, draw the ads, 
clear out the ads and get shots off at the boss once you, once you've got you know free you're free in front of you. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. I hope this helps anybody that want to go for this triumph, and I will see you guys in the next video.